and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are going to talk about some very special environmental messages that are sort of hidden around the city. My guest is from the Hampton Clean City Commission, Chris Ausink. Welcome back, Chris. Well, well thank you for having me. This, um, there's, you know, this sort of movement now where, where you're uh, sneaking um, some messages in oh, there. Yeah. Um, t tell us how this works. Well, uh, we want to send messages that will draw attention. And what better time to have when it's raining and it's gloomy outside to all of a sudden see something that you hadn't seen before. And so um, when it's raining, a lot of times you are looking down to, you know, check in. You don't step looking in for the puddles. puddles. Right. So um, we have hidden some messages on the sidewalks at our city high schools and middle schools and we with this special paint that you can only see when it's wet you got it that's so cool it is and putting it down is is not that easy <laughs> i know i did I, I spent a lot of time chalk spraying shop local choose hampton and uh, boy you get a little wind and <laughs> Yo. yeah it just drifts doesn't it yeah so um yes we've um we've got 43 stencils placed among um, the three high schools and all the middle schools, plus Bridgeport Academy and Alternative Learning. So I've included everyone I can think of. So students are yes. the target this time around. You've the done students. this before. They used to be in downtown. Mm -hmm. And they go away, by the way. As, yep. you know, as you know, as I know from the chalk, it, um, it's, this, it's a very temporary way, which is right. also what makes it kind of cool because yeah. it's not always there. And so when it appears, you know, you notice it, and yet it doesn't contribute to visual clutter forever and ever. It, it goes yes. away and you have yeah. to go back out and respray, huh? <laughs> yes, I, I actually got some emails from the president, uh, the principals of some of the schools saying, oh my goodness, the kids are so excited. They saw this on the sidewalk when they came into school, you know, um, like Phoenix. Um, middle school. That, so so what do these look like for people who haven't seen one? I've seen them downtown Oh, you just before. have to go in and go and find well, we out. We don't get to wander around schools very often. So, you but don't. Dropping our kids off maybe. Well, they, or, have, they have messaging. Uh, one is, I, I won't stand for litter. Another one is, we only want rain down the storm drain. Mm -hmm. um, another one is, um, ban um, bash the plas uh, plastics. And there, there's some other messages that you're just going to have to check out because you know what? I'm not going to tell all the secrets because what's the fun of that? Right. They'll right. say I know it all. Sure. So why um, why the, why work on students with this particular round of? Uh, well, because students are they are you'll see them like this. <laughs> uh huh. And when you want to talk to them, that huh? So this is a great way to um, get um, students who love social media um, to be involved because when they see the messaging, they have, it has share it below and you stand on that and take a photo of the messaging and then um, share what it means to you and what you pledge to do and how you want to help the environment. And the students can be free in, in expressing how, how important the environment is to them. And then they enter a contest and there are prizes. Prizes? Yes. And it's, I'm telling you, we really, yes, um, they have tickets to um, they're restaurant oriented kind yeah, of prizes. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Movie to, to movies. Um, uh, Virginia Zoo. Um, then it's going to be Top Golf too. So, so once you know the thing is too, if k kids are very interested in the environment, their learning science, all this is going on, and if you can get their habits mm -hmm. at that early, first of all, yes, they're very good at sharing the message. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know how many times I've been preached to by my children about something oh, or yeah. other. Oh um, yeah. And you know, I preached to my parents and got them to quit smoking. So you can use that yeah, yes, insistent yeah. enthusiasm yes, yes. Um, in, in a lot of good ways. But the other thing is, it, if, if you set those habits early, yes. they stay. Yes. 
Yes. Whereas we're hard to change. Adults, yeah. <laughs> change, change doesn't come easily to us. Yeah, and, and, and having the students involved because um, a lot of times there are games at the schools and, and there's a lot of litter and, and to have the students have it not, it's not cool to have litter on our school. So we want litter-free schools. So this is a way to get the students involved in making sure that their school is litter-free. That's great. And as I said, I know you did it downtown. Where else have you done this, um, this kind of project? Um, we did it at the Peninsula Town Center and I believe West Hampton Community Center um, last year. But this year, um, the 43 stencils are at the school and they're different and they aren't placed the same place everywhere. So, I also have to kind of go looking for them or uh -huh. just bump into them. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, it's more fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So social media campaign and share the news. Yes. Win prizes. Right. Win prizes. You have to use hashtag AskHRGreen. Okay. Yep. And they need to do it now. <laughs> so if you don't, if it's not going to, I think it's supposed to rain Saturday. Uh, it'll rain. It'll rain on and off. You just got to be run. ready. But if you want to cheat, you could always use a spray bottle. <laughs> You'd have to use a lot, though, if you don't know where it is. Well, I kind of hinted to some of the students. I, I have to do that, but they still have to find it. Okay. So this is kind of a new trend in awareness. I know that um, also downtown and maybe some other places as part of the placemaking, right. there are stencils, um, mm -hmm. but that still relates to, they're near the storm drains. Right, 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 right. It's this concept of reminding people, um, you know, whatever washes down here, whatever litter goes down here, that's what you're feeding these animals. And that, it's not yeah, good. Right, right. It, then, and that's what's so important is um, to really realize the impact of litter and plastic and plastic bags on our, our marine life. And that's why during the fall, um, September and October, and we do uh, data taking of what kind of litter we we're finding along our shorelines and we we're all cleaning it up. So that's the, with the International Coastal Cleanup. And that's, no, I just did a lot of reading yesterday because I was working on a special project. The amount of plastic yes. out there. Is um, phenomenal. And it's all bad when it breaks down. Like there's no, no good way to get rid of the plastics that we use. They can't all be recycled. And even when they can, a lot of people don't. They don't take the time for a straw or a cup lid or, you know, any of those things. Mm -hmm. And it's dramatically changing our oh, Chesapeake definitely. Bay, our rivers, our oceans internationally. Plastics are um, yeah. a convenience that we've enjoyed for about 30 well, years that, yes. that everyone's going to be paying well, for. Well, you soon. know, plastic bottles, um, the water bottles, for example, if they're recycled, um, um, they can be made into fabric, you know, and so um, that's your polyester. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's kind of the, um, so recycling is really a real important part of reusing, reducing, reusing. and But reducing, I mean, I think more people are shifting to the reducing on the front end. Yes, recycle, what, but but reduce on the front end. Don't, Re reduce, don't use buy it, yeah. the, the plastic use water re bottle. Use reusable yeah. bottles mm -hmm. and all that, yes. Small so. things can make a huge difference oh, definitely, over time. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. That's why you're starting with those middle school kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Think of all the plastic bottles they will never use because they've started on the right path. Yes. With, there we go. And it's amazing how much we use. I mean, I confess that sometimes I, I use plastic bottles. Well, sometimes you didn't plan ahead. You and don't you know, have something. And I go, oh, I'm yeah. so thirsty. I need mm -hmm. some water. So, but I'm thankful that we do have them. Yes. I mean, you know, it beats mm -hmm. going to the well and so, pulling it up. So we're working on those middle schoolers. We're giving yes. them prizes for participating. And high school. You, and high school. You have some other projects that also are environmental. Rain barrel workshops. Yes, yes, we do that. Um, and we're going. you can sign up at the fall festival for the spring ones if you'd like. Or you can sign up, um, but I do have rain barrel workshops um, and, throughout you know, the year. For people who don't think that makes a ton of difference, 
It really does, because mm -hmm. here we tend to get torrents of rain when we get rain, and right. the ground can't absorb it, and it, and it runs right. off, and it takes you know, nutrients and pollution and, and things that shouldn't be going back into the bay with it when that happens yes. at once. So if you can slow down and contain it, right. then you can release it in your garden and when it can be better absorbed and, and when things work. And it also, like we have ours kind of near where some of our plantings are and it's easier to water. You don't have to drag out a hose. It's yep. all right there. It's just, yep. you know, put the little bucket underneath, fill the bird bath. And right. I would have yep. wasted a lot of water had I had to drag out the hose for things like that. So right. it's, yep. it makes my life easier. And when you can improve the planet and make your life easier, you know, that's mm -hmm. a win. <laughs> Well, sometimes I attach the hose to the rain barrel ah. and, and, and then just kind of weed it around too. So I, I kind of... Yeah. It won't come out with force, but it'll... It, it will not come it, out with force, but it will come and then, then I just And that's drip, sometimes better drips, anyway. It drips mm -hmm. it out. Yeah. What a good idea. Okay, yeah. Chris, any other hot tips for us uh, related to oh, water, see, storm, storm water, recycling. that kind of thing? Um, hot tips. Oh, I just think the, the messaging with um, Right is Rain is really, really cool. And I really hope that um, people will enter the contest. We can play, too. Adults can play, too. It's, yes, it's adults schools, can play, but, too. You know, we're but, dropping kids off. We're going mm -hmm. to high school games. We have a good yes. chance at um, yes. spreading the message also. Yes, yep. And having only rain down our storm drain, that's, that's the... Um, that's the tip. Okay. Well, and thank you very yes. much. Thanks for coming by. Uh, thank you for having me. Of it's course. always a pleasure. And Thanks. always something cool coming up. That's so. right. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you will look for these messages when it rains and think about them whether or not it's raining. Because anything that goes down that storm drain ends up in our ecosystem. It might be uh, just a drainage ditch that you don't think is important, but those tend to flow into the creeks, which flow into the rivers, which flow into the bay. And anything in there can A, cause flooding because it clogs things up, and B, can change the environment and can harm the sea creatures and birds and things that we rely on for sustenance, for beauty, for part of the ecosystem, and taking care of our land. Thanks for watching.